All right, guys. Well, the first step is we need to download the model, which I already did. And I have it sitting in the folder. You can see that each one of the STL files is a separate part. The only things we didn't print was the lightsaber handle and the lightsaber. Um, I may eventually print that down the road, but for now, I just wanted to print out the, the main figure. And then you can put whatever you want in its hands. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a program here called NetFab. And you can see I already opened up uh, the Darth Vader head. And uh, this is a really cool program for 3D printers because it allows you to fix models. When people 3D model stuff, most of the time what happens is there's little defects and stuff in the print that make it so the slicer can't tear it apart and make it into thousands of layers that ultimately get printed to make your 3D item. So what you want to do is you want to come in here and make sure that the model's good. So what you do is come up here to, uh, let's see, part, sorry, extras, repair part. And then you can look at the part. I just go down to do automatic repair, say do the extended repair, and it'll go through and analyze the whole model and then make changes to it. You can see it made a couple little changes in here and over here. And it basically just makes all these changes with the fact that you're gonna 3D print it in mind. And then when you're all done, you click apply repair, make sure you click apply repair. If you don't, it doesn't work. And then once you do that, here's the repaired model. And then you go up to project and say export as STL and that's it and you're done. Now, I went ahead and did that for each of the individual parts before I fed them to the printer, and I just do that as a course of habit now, because a lot of models that I download, uh, whether somebody creates them for me or whether I get them from like Thingiverse or Umagine, uh, they tend to have flaws in them, and those flaws show up in the 3D printing and in the slicing. So running them through NetFab, it gives you a huge advantage. So if you guys got a 3D printer and you're doing this, make sure you're running your models through NetFab. It takes just a minute, and it's totally worth it.